G'day guys, welcome back to another Bitcoin video. Today we're going to be discussing the Wyckoff accumulation pattern that is happening on the Bitcoin chart. And essentially that is the thing that we're looking at as being the bear case, right? This is the bear case for Bitcoin. Because obviously we have the bull case and the bull case is my general opinion overall based on many, many factors you guys are probably very well aware of by now. But those of you who don't know, quick overlook for your cycle, uh, DXY reverse correlation, not necessarily reverse correlated to the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ. So that if the NASDAQ and S&P 500 go down, down, I don't believe Bitcoin will go down. I also believe that Bitcoin is more like gold than it is to a, like a stock and gold is known to be very sound during recessions. And so I believe that if we do see a recession, we do see the traditional markets go down, Bitcoin will, will follow something like gold rather than something like the stock market. There's many reasons why I think the bottom is in. That's a brief explanation. I've gone over a lot of them. There's also TA reasons like breakouts from wedges, etc., breakouts above certain lines. But ultimately, the one thing that is kind of the bear case right now, the one thing that is the bearish scenario that, that would actually, uh, you know, potentially lead to reversal on Bitcoin. By the way, I disagree with this. I'm not flip-flopping in any way of the slightest. I'm simply looking at the other opinion. The one thing is Wyckoff accumulation. Uh, now, before we get into that, I do want to quickly look at the BitGet Exchange, and this is because we have an exclusive uh, kind of event, kind of promotion running with Wolves of Crypto. If you sign up using my referral link to the BitGet Exchange, you follow the steps on this banner right here. You can pause. You can get up to, what is it, 10, 15, plus 15 BGB, plus another 10. You can get 25 uh, 25 USD in rewards plus uh, your 15 BGB, which is the uh, BitGet Exchange token. So quite a lot of rewards to be claimed there as well uh, from, from doing these steps here. So sign up using my referral link and also get access to a great exchange, five times lower fees in Binance, non-KYC, the whole nine yards. So sign up using my referral link. And on top of that, get a 15% discount on trading fees for, life, for, for lifetime for using my link. So that's definitely worth doing. But now we can get into the actual video. So we can start by giving a quick rundown of where Bitcoin is. If you want a full extensive rundown of where Bitcoin is, you can check out yesterday's video. I went over it quite a lot, but essentially we've moved upwards massively, of course, from the 15.4K low. I do believe that was the bottom. We've come all the way upwards to the top of this massive range. Now, I believe, let's clear the chart. I believe that this entire price region, right, that I just squared off since June, 2022 is one big range. And hence the top of that range would be the highest point of the range, which is 25.2K. 25.2K was established as the top of the range in August, and we've just come up and just retested just the other day. So if we break above 25.2K, we will be breaking above the range and we can start moving exponentially to the upside. Now, <clears throat> And this is something I did yesterday's video on, right? When we break 25.2K, looking at the volume profile, we can see that there's very little historical trading volume. Look at where I'm drawing right now. There's very little historical trading volume between 25.2K and 28.6K, meaning that there's very little resistance in that region. So if we do manage to break 25.2K, and again, if we do manage to break 25.2K means if we do manage to break the top of the range at 25.2K, we will be zooming upwards most likely to 28.6K unless something unexpected happens. So there's very little resistance in between that price region. And this is why this zone is so critical because this is the final chance that this is basically the final chance the bears get to reject Bitcoin until 28.6K. And by the time we get to 28.6K, we're already pretty much a 2X from the bottom. It's very unlikely we go back down after something like that. So this is the basically one of the last chances the bears are gonna get. If you're bearish on Bitcoin, you're bearish on the markets, this is it, right? If we break this, you know, I mean, yeah, we've got 28.6K. Yeah, technically we need that to confirm the bottom. But at that point, you know, you're up so far from the bottom that you've really missed your opportunity to get a decent price at that point. So this is it, right? This is the, the final rejection zone. And, you know, uh, of course, it is a very strong resistance. It's not only the top of the range. It's also where the 200-week SMA, the 50-week SMA, and the 50-week EMA sit. They sit all in that price region between 24.7 and 25 flat. So it's a very important resistance, and it's very strong. And, and no doubt we could see a rejection from it. But the whole point is I'm making is that if we reject from it, we don't necessarily have to go down to form a new low. We can just see a healthy correction after a 55% move to the upside with very little corrections. Uh, for example, we could go down to 21.6 or something like that. Now, before I dive into that too much, I do want to look into the overall bearish claim. Now, the bearish claim is essentially this, and this is the way I see the bearish claim. This is the strongest bearish argument I can possibly make, and, and that's coming from someone who's bullish, right? So this is it. I think that Wyckoff is very much real. I think that Wyckoff accumulation patterns, Wyckoff distribution patterns are very much real. Uh, and, and, you know, this is very much seen uh, through, through the price history of Bitcoin. If we look here uh, in, in 2021, 
you know, this entire structure in 2021 here was a massive Wyckoff distribution pattern. Okay, so Wyckoff works, right? So that was a distribution pattern there. And then guess what? Just over here in November, just a few months later, that was another one, Wyckoff right there. And we could even make the case that this over here in July 2020, in, from May to July 2021, was a Wyckoff accumulation pattern as well. So Wyckoff certainly works. It's certainly a real thing. It's, it's basically a market pattern. Uh, it's not really a market pattern. I guess it is a market pattern. That was identified by Richard Wyckoff, who's a very famous technical analyst who kind of uh, identified how whales like to manipulate price action in these certain types of patterns, which are called Wyckoff patterns, uh, in order to get the best possible prices while flushing out retail to a certain extent. That's, that's, the, whole, that's the whole formation of it. So Wyckoff works. Okay, that, that's what we know. It, it's worked. It, it works on three separate occasions here in 2021. Three times in one year. So, you know, it's not that far of a stretch to say it will work again this time by any means. The problem is this, right? You know, and, and let me let me dive into it further before I say the problem. Okay, right now, where are we on the Wyckoff pattern? Well, we've had the, uh, we can't really draw too much, but essentially this one in the middle, okay, where I just circled on the actual chart itself, that is where we are. So right now, if we're following the Wyckoff accumulation pattern, what we should be seeing right now, because we've just had this rejection, is a move downwards, something like this, some consolidation, and then we go further downwards and we form a new low slightly below the old one. And if we were going to do that, it'd probably be like 13.8k, which is the nearest support zone. And then the speculation is that we go upwards after that and then do that. So if we're going to follow Wyckoff, right, that's what it will look like roughly, what I just draw in a blue line. That's what roughly we're looking at. And that kind of resembles what we saw. It's obviously a larger scale. Scale, but it does slightly resemble what we saw here in November, uh, in in May to May to July 2021. So possible, right? That's the bearish case. That in fact, that's the strongest argument I can see from the bearish case, just because Wyckoff has been historically accurate. Now the problem is this. The problem is this. Okay, just because something looks similar to something, it doesn't mean it's going to happen. That's the problem. And also the problem is this. And I did a whole dedicated video on Wyckoff just the other week. Wyckoff is all well and good. Okay, it's a market pattern. It's all well and good. But at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we can't ignore the other TA. We can't just look at one thing and say that overpowers everything else. I'll tell you right now, if the four-year cycle didn't exist, okay, I would say the bottom isn't in yet, but it does exist. And the four-year cycle is not just a, it's just a random pattern. The four-year cycle is based on one, two, three, four, five, six date range trends, okay? Also based on a fundamental event being the halving, and it's also based on fundamental events separate to cryptocurrency being the presidential cycle theory. The four-year cycle says that the bottom was in November. The bottom we saw was in November. The four-year cycle says that there is roughly 500 days from the bottom to the halving. The halving is in April 2024, which is 500 days from November, which is when the which is when the bottom was. Okay, so it's it's not a stretch to say that the four-year cycle theory, okay, and the TA surrounds it, that surrounds it outweighs a Wyckoff accumulation pattern that could actually just be something else or could be coincidental. It's not a stretch at all. And if we're truly being honest with ourselves as well, and I, I don't think many people are being honest with themselves when, they come, when it comes to the bearish case, it's my personal opinion. If we're truly being honest with ourselves, does it actually look like a Wyckoff accumulation pattern? Vaguely vaguely all right for example over here we're meant to have a v-shaped correction we saw instead right a massive rounding out a massive consolidation and then we finally dropped down and we saw a massive w formation that's the opposite of a v-shaped formation i can tell you that right now right also over here we had something resembling the sending channel formation instead of two distinctive peaks and on the way down we didn't see choppy way down like this we saw extensive consolidation for about a month month and a half before taking one more step it was very much just a bear flag formation rather than the the two spikes we went to see in wyckoff accumulation now what i do understand is this wyckoff accumulation and wyckoff patterns in general are meant to be vague guidelines and so they're not meant to, well, they don't have to match exactly what's going on the charts. And that's a completely plausible answer. But then I would still refer you back to the other points I made before that a Wyckoff accumulation pattern or a, or a subjectively uh, possible Wyckoff accumulation pattern is a much weaker reason to be pointing yourself towards one direction, such as the bearish direction, than something like the four-year cycle, which is a 12-year long trend on Bitcoin based on six micro trends, based on one halving event, uh, based on every halving event, sorry, a, a fundamental event that backs Bitcoin and based on the presidential cycle theory and the fact that, yes, we're seeing a recession. Well, we're going to be seeing a recession or we might as well, we're already in a recession. Whatever your opinion on that is, doesn't really matter. The point is, and the fact that that's going on, plus Bitcoin is more likely to follow gold than it is to a stock. I think, to be honest, we can go ahead and, and, and say that this black of accumulation pattern is unlikely to lead to new lows. That's my personal opinion. And if it did, by the way, 
And if it did, right, it's very much worth noting that this Wyckoff accumulation pattern, and, and this is this is this is uh, important as well. A lot of people say, "Oh, we're going to 10k on Bitcoin. Oh, we're going 9.6k. Or we're going to 3k." Right? That's that's kind of like the bearish cases there. If this Wyckoff accumulation pattern is true, which is one of the only bearish arguments that I'm, I'm willing to validate right now, because it is it is very much playing out. I can't really in, I can't really discount it as per TA. If it is true, okay, we wouldn't be going to 9k. We wouldn't be going to 3k. We'd be going as per Wyckoff very slightly below where we were at 15.4k. As I said, probably 13.8. So it wouldn't send a sub 10k, uh, and that's what the pattern. That's what the pattern suggests. So even if everything is wrong, even if I'm completely incorrect about the bottom, even if all that happens and this Wyckoff accumulation pattern is correct, we would be seeing a bottom just slightly lower to where we were at 15.4k, and it certainly would not be sub 10k. By the way, I still don't think it's going to happen. When will I admit that I'm wrong? And when will I admit? Well. It's hard to say exactly when, but when will I start to admit, okay, this Wyckoff accumulation pattern is gaining some weight, potentially we might see a new low. I would start to admit that after we lose the eight-year uptrending support line. That is this yellow line on Bitcoin uh, that I think it will be lost eventually, by the way, because it is a logarithmic line, but I don't expect to lose it within the next few months at all. If we lose this line, we lose everything else in between it as well. So that's why it's important. Eventually, we will lose this line just like every uptrending line ever. But Again, we shouldn't be losing in the next few months. So if we lose this line and losing that line at this point in time would be a, a loss of say 18K, something like that, then I would start to say, okay, maybe Wyckoff was correct. Maybe the four-year cycle could be wrong. But until that point, uh, I, I'm still standing by the four-year cycle. I still think it's a very strong uh, thing to stand by. And I think that this is highly speculative, but that is the bearish case. And we are, we will be keeping an eye on it. So d you know, don't say... Uh, don't, don't think I'm just going to like ignore it now and just go back to my bullish arguments. No, not at all. I will certainly be keeping an eye on the bearish case. I'm not a biased person. I don't believe in biased investing. That's how you lose money. So I'm always going to be open to the other arguments. I simply believe that at this point in time, the bullish argument is still stronger. But again, I will be watching this pattern. So yeah, some interesting stuff to look forward to uh, over the next few weeks. Do I think we'll see a correction from this price region? Yes. And I think uh, if we start to see a correction, it's not something to run for the hills for. A correction could very much be healthy after a dramatic move upwards. Remember, guys, this is the first retest of the top of the range. We don't usually ever break out on the first retest. We could very well correct downwards before seeing a breakout. Uh, we need to maintain above 21.6K to maintain a healthy short-term structure. If we lose 21.6K, we'll form a lower low. That won't be particularly good. But again, it still won't be the end of the world so long as we hold that 19.5K region, uh, which is where the 2017 all-time high is. Then we can do something like that so yeah i don't know heaps to look into over the next few weeks uh heaps to keep an eye on keep tabs on without further ado i'll end the video there Check out the Crypto Academy if you want to learn how to trade, you want to do analysis like I do, uh, everything you need to know about trading, even from a beginner level who knows nothing about financial markets, you can get into this course, you can purchase the course, uh, read the website, read the bio, find out what it's all about, and you can do this course and you'll become uh, basically what you need. You'll have the knowledge at your at your in your toolkit to become a career trader. This is every single thing myself and Mega World Crypto sparing two or three things use in trading on a daily basis is in this course. So it's very much worth checking out if you're interested in, in uh, expert in trading and refining your skills. Uh, on top of this, if you want to join the VIP group, we trade altcoins sub daily. Uh, we do heaps of kind of stuff in there. We've got about 100 VIP members trading altcoins sub daily. Uh, and so, yeah, you can check that out. You can join up there, 100 USD for three months. Uh, go to the pinned comment, go to the description, check out all the links, uh, click on those links and do some research. And then, uh, you know, hit me up with a DM or an email uh, if you have any questions about the VIP group or the Crypto Academy. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.